Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use fucking Topaz properly because I'm tired of seeing you guys ruining your edits. First thing is that don't just go around and follow random tutorials. So I'm gonna explain each and every single thing about Topaz today. Anyways, let's move on. You need to set this video quality based on your video quality. If it's low, then low here too. And if it's high, then higher too. In my case, the video quality is decent. So I'm gonna select medium here, then video artifact type to progressive. And here, fine tune. Now let's come to this fucking part. Don't mess with these values if you don't know what you are doing. So first thing is revert compression. So when you render your edits, they get compressed a bit. So here looking at my clip, it's not that compressed. But you can see that slight compression. So I put 65 here. And this value depends on your video quality too. And for recover details, don't do this. If you are gonna put some crazy values here, it's gonna look like an AI, kinda like unhuman. And we don't want that. So for example, my clip here is not that bad. I mean, you can see the details, but in some places you can't. So I'm gonna set it around 40. And again, it's for this specific clip. So analyze your clip first and change the value according to your clip. Just don't overdo it cause it's gonna look trash. Moving on next is sharpen. Obviously it adds sharpness to your clip. As you can see here, some edges are kinda dull, like they need sharpness. So I can't see any reason to put any higher than 40 here. So I'm gonna put 40. But sometimes your clip doesn't need any sharpness at all cause they are pretty sharp by default. So open your fucking eyes and try to see what your clip wants. Next is reduce noise. And my clip needs this. As you can see, my clip is kinda noisy. So I'm gonna put this value around 35. And now dehello. So basically if your clip is over sharpened by default, it can help you to reduce that. By looking at my clip, I do not need this. So I'm gonna put 5 here. Next is D blur. So as the name suggests, it helps to reduce the blur. As you can see, it's kind of blurry here. So maybe I'm gonna set this value around 20. And before finalizing the parameters, click on preview. And here, as you can see, the difference is crazy. Like it's sharp, less noisy, less blurry overall. And I'm satisfied with the settings. But if you feel like you need to change something, then it's okay too. Now click on the stop, then close. Change the values if you want to, cause you need to know what your clip wants. There's always gonna be some difference between your clip and my clip. Parameters are not gonna be the same too. You can change them according to your clip. Don't just put random values in here. And here in the output size, if you have a slow PC, go with 100. And if you have a decent PC I guess, then output size to 200. And now just click on start processing. And now you can apply CC to your clip in After Effects. If you want a CC pair, you can download it from my Discord. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe and bye bye.